This is the story of Ram Singh the Great General, who led his village of Baruch to become a powerhouse in the Solaki Rajputs. He made an army of me laborers and farmers and trained them to be warriors. A local landlord at Dart has been meddling with his merchants. He thought it was the right time to strike. His army consisted of mostly conscripts who have less fighting experience. He also had many archers and armored Rajput warriors and engineers who knew how to build siege equipment. He also had horsemen and elephants by his side. He received word that the village of Kamkam lies near to the Dar territory and was recently taken over by Ajay Singh the evil tormentor who had raped many women. A two-day march from Baruch, he reached Dar with his men. He did not have enough supplies to put up a siege, so he went into attack as fast as possible. Scouts reported that the village was well guarded, and the farmers too were forced to take up with the Dar army against Tram Singh. He lined up his army in Saffron to fight Ajay Singh's men in blue. Ram came to know that Ajay had bought in Turkish gunmen and his conscripts get wiped over it would very well be the end. He took a gamble. Before he started the fight he signaled his men not to run from the fight. Anyone who would run will be shot and beheaded by him, personally. Everyone was scared now. Ram knew the tactics of war, he sent in a small group of men as bait to the right flank. Once the enemy began to concentrate their firepower on that group. He sent in his armored Rajputs to cut through the melee and attack the core of the enemy. The horses would then take care of the archers and gunmen of the enemy. Once the onslaught was on the enemy cavalry had to be defeated, he knew if the conscripts could stand up to the pressure he could be victorious. His army now began to cut through the enemy. The elephants began to mow down the enemy farmers. The enemy was on the roll now, and Jay Singh was nowhere to be seen now. His army had been routed and he had to flee with his elite guards, leaving behind his men to die. Ram's army now entered the town. The villagers kept on their resistance not knowing Ram were their liberator. This was the hard truth, but Ram knew there was no time to explain. His army must loot, his army must pillage the city, and the next, if they are to survive, if they are to be paid, in the name of glory, the last vestiges of resistance must be destroyed. Ram Singh's triumph 